It's just a shift in your awareness of what you're eating. Get things like seed oils out of your diet, genetically modified foods, because the evidence on genetically modified foods now is terrible, that it can act, may actually even be altering our own genome, right? It may actually, the, these genetically modified organisms may actually be negatively impacting our own DNA, altering our own DNA. So I have a quote from you. The worst thing that ever happened to us was genetically modified foods. I think it's one Why? of Why? Because... We are making non-foods out of foods and we are doing an experiment on humanity, right? When we start genetically modifying organisms in non-naturopathic ways, we don't know what the long-term consequences are in the human body. So if you look at the research in 2009, and again, if, if, if we, I will post this sequence of articles, 2009, 2013, 2023. I'll show you in 2009 how the research, the meta-analyses that were going on on genetically modified foods in 2009 because of their, not, their, their lack of prevalence was mainly in animal studies and anecdotal, anecdotal correlations to human beings, meaning, meaning this may have a detrimental effect. Um, it does appear to be um, causing certain anomalies in, in, in rats and mice. By 2013, they were like, there is significant evidence in animal studies that genetically modified foods are having a, a negative impact on our physiology, specifically liver and hepatic toxicity, um, mental function, early onset of things like Alzheimer's and dementia, specifically the neurofibrillary tangles. By the time you get to 2023, and we actually had human clinical trials, I mean, the there is direct evidence that genetically modified foods are, are not only potentially modifying our DNA, but are, are actually creating conditions in the human body that are making us less resistant to antibiotics.